good. I'm really grateful for very nice to meet you today. And uh, today, we'd like to learn about recomplex. But uh, before that, uh, I'd like to check your attendance first, okay? Okay. Uh, 
can give a VRC to me, right? <laughs> okay, I uh, enjoy to share your story with your friends. I'll uh, give you two minutes again, okay? okay. Okay, now, uh, enough to share to your uh, friends and your uh, player. And now, please, uh, who want to come in and share your experience or your holiday to your friends in the run of class? Action or activity. 
Its goal is to entertaining or informing the reader. The crown is a text which retells events or experiences in the past. Yes, nice. So in bahasa, uh, the context itu merupakan teks yang digunakan uh, untuk menceritakan mengenai uh, pengalaman, hiburan ataupun kejadian di uh, masa lampau, masa lalu. Nice. Let's see the structure of uh, the context. Uh, the first is orientation, the second is event, and the last is reorientation. Uh, the first in the orientation, it gives the reader the background information needed to understand the text, such as who was involved, where it happened, and when it happened. Such as uh, when you are going to share your story about your holiday, first you should tell uh, who is who who went the holiday and where and also when. And in the next uh, structure, you should tell your uh, event or a series of event if you have. Uh, any events and also order in the chronological sequence. And the last reorientation or a personal comment about the event or what happened in the end. Uh, we can call this is a summary of your uh, experience story, right? And if you are going to uh, memorize this structure, uh, it can be as an acronym OREO. Yes, OREO. OREO, O for orientation and event and also reorientation. Did you get the point? Yes. 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 Let's see the next uh, material. The layout features of the context. The first, uh, it used past tense because uh, it happened in the past and using temporal sequence such as uh, Saturday or uh, in my only day like that, okay? And then the next level feature is focus on the specific participant such as I or the writer or name of place such as uh, as yeah, uh, say she or I, like that. And then using conjunction such as then, before, after to uh, show the event or chronological event it can be. And then using action verb such as when, stay, cook, give up, point. And the last. Uh, the like feature uh, usually uh, the context is about story or a story. If the story is about self experience or uh, kind of experience, and the story is the story of place or the uh, history of someone. Okay. Let's see. This is uh, the simple class. I think you have learned before. I'm gonna uh, recall your memory about past tense. Uh, we use a uh, subject with uh, verb to and the negative using subject. Did not was uh, for one because the verb to is in did. And then next also same past continuous tense have learned. And let's see, let's uh, analyze this uh, text. This is a uh, big context. And please, uh, Tasha, can you read the story? Last year, I went to Bandu with my wife and my student nurse. We left for Bandu at about 7 a.m. by car. We got there around 16 a.m. Oh, around, 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 Around 10 a.m., one of our destinations was a 
sausage or house of sausage in Lembang, North Bali. Okay, yeah. Uh, in the first paragraph, uh, what is the what is the structure? Uh, remember Oreo? Uh, yeah, the first paragraph is orientation. Yeah, nice because uh, in this paragraph uh, tells about who uh, who uh, who went to Bandung and also uh, where uh, where uh, it happened and when it happened, right? Yes. And the next paragraph is there were some interesting attractions. First, we rode on horseback around the place, and then we got on Kora Kora, yeah. a swing, a swing ship. <coughs> we were actually very scared. Yes. So the next paragraph, what is the structure? It is event. Yes. Event. Yes. Nice. <coughs> this event of uh, the experience or the text. Uh, let's see that in the second paragraph or in the event, it has temporal sequence such as first, then, and in the next uh, paragraph also, uh, this is the uh, same and the next of the second paragraph such as after that and finally. This is the uh, indicate the a series of event and the last uh, paragraph let's see we were very happy because it gave us a very fantastic uh, experience and we can see that from this uh, sentence this is reorientation she told or I mean uh, they told about the summary of the experience and um, we can see the uh, text what is the participant of text? we, I, my wife yes. we, we yeah. I, we yeah. kemudian ada uh, simple pasnya of course, I went, we left we got, yes, wrote, and what is the third one of when? Go, yeah, nice. I think you are understanding about the past then. And let's see the action verb, such as uh, got, a, yes. So next, let's analyze by uh, yourself or you can do with your player. Can you see the text? Yes. Okay, please uh, write in your book and analyze the structure and the language feature. Okay? I'll check the uh, the result in three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we just um, fix the structures. Uh, if you can, you uh, you can write with the um, features such as uh, what is the participant and then uh, where is the Temporal sequence is
participant I. Yes, the participant participant I. And then in the next uh, paragraph, um, what is it? Event. Event. How many events there? Two. Uh, on the first day. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.